So it seems that Virgil Ortiz is willing to do something that Conor Ben isn't willing to do, and that is fight David Avenesian. And actually, I should just add a little caveat and say it may be Eddie Hearn not wanting Conor Ben to fight Avenesian rather than Conor Ben himself. That's a possibility. Anyway, according to this article on Boxing Scene, there is talks between Virgil Ortiz and David Avenesian's people. The fight is in play for August 6th in Texas. It hasn't been signed, but again, multiple sources say that negotiations are ongoing. What do you guys think about this fight? And do you think that Ortiz is looking to, how can I even describe it? Is he looking to upstage Conor? Well, I say upstage Conor Ben in the United States. He's a much bigger name. Surely he wouldn't care about trying to upstage Conor Ben, but maybe prove a point. I'll describe it that way. Is Virgil Ortiz looking to prove a point by taking on this David Avenesian guy and therefore showing Conor Ben, hey, I'm taking on guys that your people won't even allow you to fight because they're scared, you know? And how do you think this fight will go if it does take place, Virgil Ortiz, of course, strong guy, likes to come forward, throws a lot of shots, got a lot of stoppages. David Avenesian likes to do the same. Will it be uh, a case of Virgil Ortiz just being better than Avenesian at doing that particular thing, being a pressure fighter? Will Virgil Ortiz show a bit more boxing in the fight? Will Avenesian show a bit more boxing? I haven't seen much boxing from Avenesian in the past. He normally comes forward and brings the heat. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And is this, again, if the fight takes place, an embarrassment for Conor Ben and Eddie Hearn? Because I can imagine Umar's question, if this fight gets made official, you know, in his next interview of Eddie Hearn, Virgil Ortiz, one of Conor Ben's contemporaries, is taking on this guy that you lot don't want to fight. <laughs> Eddie Hearn keeps talking about well, a few fights ago, Eddie Hearn was saying that Conor Ben ain't ready for, for uh, David Avenesian, excuse me. Uh, a few fights ago, Eddie Hearn was saying that Conor Ben ain't ready for Avenesian. But lately, he hasn't really been saying that. I don't know whether this is just to appease Conor Ben and his ego, or you know, he, whether he's tired of getting the stick from the fans or what have you. I'm not sure why, but Eddie Hearn is now these days saying, that Avenesian doesn't bring enough to the table for them to want to fight him. And this is the typical duck excuse. This is what people who duck will normally say about the person they duck. Oh, I don't bring anything to the table. You know when Amir Khan, for all those years, refused to fight Kel Brook? Oh, he doesn't have anything I want. He doesn't bring anything to the table. All this type of stuff. So that's what Eddie Hearn is saying lately. Well, look at the guys that Conor Ben's been fighting. What do they really bring to the table? <laughs> you know, it's fought some jaded old fighters like Chris Algieri and what have you. Uh, in his last fight, the South African Southpaw, God, I forget his name, Van Heerden, excuse me. Are you telling me Van Heerden's a big name? Are you telling me Van Heerden, if he fought, he headlined somewhere, he would sell dramatically more tickets than Avenesian? Is Van Heerden really that? I mean, what's Van Heerden done? Other than get beat by Jerron Ennis, I know that fight was a no decision or whatever, get beat by Errol Spence. Apart from that, what's Van Heerden ever done? I don't see Eddie Hearn's argument really standing up when Conor Ben's fighting the, the uh, Van Heerdens of the world, but yet says that Avenesian isn't a big enough name. In the UK, Avenesian's more well known than Van Heerden. Right? Because he beat Josh Kelly. He's fought in the UK a number of times. So, anyway, <laughs> you get the point I'm making here. Let me know what you think about this potential fight between Virgil Ortiz and David Avenesian. And how much of a chance do you give Avenesian against Ortiz? And as I say, will this be an embarrassment for Eddie Hearn and Conor Ben? Let me know.